Hello, and thank you for joining us. When a student applies for financial aid, the federal and or state governments can randomly select them for a review of their financial aid eligibility and or financial aid application. Stockton University is required by federal regulations to verify all information required by the U.S. Department of Education, as well as the information reported on the application of each student selected. In order to comply with these regulations, students must complete and submit all requested documentation. In the case of a dependent student, a parent may also be required to sign certain forms. There is an option for a parent to electronically sign a form, but in some cases this is not an option and students and their parent must opt out of the e-signature so that they can hand sign and upload the document to the student form's site. In this video, we are going to be discussing how students and parents can opt out of the student form's e-signature. To get started, visit go.stockton.edu and click Login to Go Stockton Portal. Then, enter your username and password. For new students, your username and password can be found within your admissions acceptance letter. Then click Login. From the homepage of the Go Stockton portal, click the Financial Aid tab at the top of the page. Then scroll down and on the left hand side, click the link to view your financial aid requirements. Next, select the aid year you wish to view and click Submit. Then, you'll be able to view a list of your unsatisfied requirements. Be sure to complete all outstanding requirements as aid will not be processed until all are complete. For the purposes of this video, select the link to submit missing financial aid information. This will bring you to the home page of the Student Forms portal. Any outstanding task or documentation that needs to be submitted is outlined within the Needs Action tab within the side navigation bar on the left hand side. To access your forms, select the task within the Needs Action tab for the aid year for which your verification is ongoing. Next, select the form for which you would like to opt out of the e-signature. If you've already sent a parent request for an e-signature, you will need to cancel this request before you can opt out. To cancel this request, select the Cancel Request button on the right-hand side of the page. Then select Yes to confirm you want to cancel the e-signature request. Next, select Fill Out next to the form. On the right-hand side of the page, click the Review and Sign link. Scroll down to the bottom and select the Opt Out of e-signature button. Then, read the instructions carefully and click Confirm. Then, you'll scroll down once again and click the Download button on the right-hand side of the page. This will bring up a copy of the form that you filled out. To sign and submit, you will need to print out this form and both the parent and student will need to hand sign it. Once you've printed out and signed the form, you'll be able to upload it to the student form site. You can either take a photo or scan the form after it's been signed. Next, click the Upload button next to the requirement. Then, you'll select where on your computer it's been saved and upload it to the student form site. Make sure that the image is not cut off or blurry and select Use at the bottom right hand side of the page. If you want to add pages, select the Add Pages button. If not, select No. Once all other forms, documents, and tasks are completed, click Submit and Finish so that we may begin to review your file. If our office determines that we need additional information from you, you will receive an email. Be sure to read all communications carefully. You will also receive an email when the review has been completed. Monitor your Ghost Doctrine email for updates. As always, our office is here to help. Please feel free to schedule a phone call with a member of our staff by visiting stockton.edu slash contact Thank you.